another, another, oh, oh, triggering narrative. Another bit of political horse shit. Well, it's not, no, it's just a, con- a continuation. The, Rwa- the Rwanda caper. As current... Pre- <sighs> the, clo- the closing... Would have guessed the closing stages of 2023. The closing de- the closing weeks of 2023, and we've got Rishi Sunak there as Prime Minister. And it's very possible that he might get fucked up. They might fuck him off, Tories. Because there's a general election due. I think, I think the general election is due next year, at some point next year. And the, the argument is, the reality of the matter is that, oh, Rishi, excuse me, being the, being the front man of the, the unloved Tories, they'll want to get rid of him. Excuse me. Get rid of him, get some other puppet in place, and then we, well, we might have a chance with next election. Well, today, I think today, Tuesday, Tuesday, what is it, the 12th? Yeah. Tuesday, the 12th of December, 2023, there's a vote in Parliament about the current, this bill, this this horseshit bill, the Rwanda caper. And it's a caper, it's a caper. The idea that's been peddled is we need, we need this Rwanda caper. So we can send people to Rwanda. Because we need the word to get out that if you come here to the United Kingdom as an illegal, you're going to be shipped off to Rwanda. It's supposedly a deterrent. That's what they're peddling it as. Oh, we need to stop the boats. And this bill is part of this is this bill is part of the attitude, the act, the action that we're taking to stop the boats. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody actually made that. They actually said out loud on the news today, over the last couple of days. Oh, we need to. Oh, it's terrible that these people are coming across the busiest shipping lane in the world. We need to stop them taking that chance. We need to stop them stop them doing that dangerous thing because they're in danger. They're putting themselves in danger. They're coming across the busiest shipping lane in the world. Oh, my goodness me. And might, yeah, exa- exactly. The busiest shipping lane in the world, and, they, and they're just flooding across it. So, right there, that should tell... I've said this in previous videos. How is it that all these boats are coming across the busiest shipping lane in the world? Flooding across in rubber dinghies that don't show up on radar. How come there aren't bodies washing up on the the south coast of, of England? Properly, like, you know, bodies just strewn everywhere on beach there. You know, Mummy, there's a dead body there. Oh, dear. You know, people no longer going to the, to the south coast for their holidays because the beaches are full of dead bodies. Just washing up, washing his show. How come that ain't happening? Because these boats are being allowed to get across. So that's the only... That's the only sort of conclusion you can come to. Oh, but if we create this one Rwanda bit... I don't think... I don't think we've ever... I don't think we've even sent anybody to Rwanda yet. Because the people, the lawyers have looked at it and said, No, 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 it's elite. It's not legal to send these people to Rwanda. The circumstances do not support this action. It's not legal. So they've got to pass a bill, apparently. I don't know, it's just... Again, it's all shit. Well, we need to stop these boats coming across. Then stop them coming across. There's ways and means. Putting the word out, though, you might get shipped off to Rwanda. 
if you manage to make it across to UK, they might send you to Rwanda. If you, if you get to the UK as an illegal, you might have to go to Rwanda. No. If you get in this dinghy, there's a really good chance you're going to die in the English Channel or the French Channel, whichever, you know, whichever, whatever, whatever nomenclature you want to put on that bit of that stretch of water. Look at all these bodies that are washing up on beach. Do you want to be one of them bodies? Because that's, that's more than likely what's going to happen to you if you're getting that dinghy to set off across there. That'll stop people doing it. But no. Oh, it's Rwanda. What, what, what? What, 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 what? But you know, Rishi, he's had a good, he's had a good run of it. <clears throat> well, as, as Liz Truss before him has shown, you know, he's going to get his... Going to get his, his grace and favour pension, hundred grand a year. Thanks for being prime minister of the UK. He is a hundred thousand pound a year when you retire. Fucking hell! What a good dude. 